back to my channel and happy Sunday to everyone. So in, in my previous uh, video, I explained you how to switch CPU modes, speed modes between um, the base that is the the silent mode and also uh, versus the performance mode which is the balanced mode. Okay. However, I uh, failed to show you on how to switch your uh, CPU speed mode from either of these two silent or uh, balanced or performance to turbo mode which is the uh, max uh, CPU speed CPU clock speed mode that is known as uh, turbo mode so I, I actually failed to do that in the in my previous video so in this video uh, I'm going to explain you how to switch to turbo mode uh, from either of the uh, latter modes that I showed okay and uh, let's quickly begin Firstly, what you need to do is you need to open up an application called as Armory Crate application, which is over here. Okay, so there is a shortcut, guys. Okay, I will just click on just now and open this application. So, this is the ASUS inbuilt application that allows you to manage different components of your uh, gaming PC. And if you own this uh, PC, uh, like ASUS Stuff Dash. Uh, a 15 gaming PC if you have one okay like me you need to understand uh, you uh, how to switch the CPU uh, mode to speed mode to the turbo mode that is because uh, obviously we will purchase this laptop for gaming purpose or some extensive uh, professional purposes okay if you are a hardcore game gamer uh, to run all those 4k games you need to enable the turbo mode which is over here and which currently says this mode is currently unavailable on your PC okay and how do we en enable this we are currently on performance mode which is the balance mode which I was talking about before and there is a silent mode too which the uh, which the PC runs on a very basic uh, base uh, clock speed of your CPU okay uses the base clock CPU speed performance is the balance there is the mid range and the turbo is when your uh, CPU reaches to its max clock uh, potential speed all right and uh, so first and foremost guys you need to do some steps within your BIOS all right so I will post those steps on the description box below since I can't show you because I'm currently as you can see running the screen recorder okay because I need to reboot and this screen recorder is going to stop all right so I'll just read out the steps in front of you now so you just need to go to the uh, BIOS menu using the F2 key. I mean, before you turn on, uh, turn on your computer, you just need to keep tapping F2 key, uh, function 2 key, and it will take you to the BIOS uh, setup page uh, in your Asus laptop. And then you just need to go to advanced menu and just go to CPU configuration. And then just you need to select uh, power management, and then you just need to enable the turbo button there. And then just save the changes and uh, continue booting your computer okay with the set configuration once you do that this turbo mode you will be able to then enable the turbo mode using the armory crate app right however uh, still you would not be able to enable this by default okay that's because uh, my current charging level is almost going to drain up okay because this consumes more uh, your uh, more power your battery power you need to make sure you plug in your uh, charge uh, power cable okay to your uh, power port within your laptop as soon as I do that let's quickly do that I will uh, plug in my uh, battery adapter plug into my socket just now All right as soon as I do that what will happen is my laptop is just going to begin charging okay just hold on so as you can see guys now my laptop is has begun charging all right as soon as I did that you can see here the turbo tab has gotten enabled all right which means we are ready to enable the turbo mode now how do we enable the turbo mode it's simple guys like I explained you in my previous other video on how to switch uh, modes between silence and performance okay using uh, just a uh, key combination you need to just press and hold the function key on your keyboard 
at the same time what you need to do is press the f5 key soon as you do that guys it will start switching your uh, cpu speed modes from whichever level you want now currently we are at performance guys i'm just pressing the uh, both the keys at the same time okay and it's continuously it's automatically changing guys without me mo moving the mouse cursor okay as you can see just now i'm just repeatedly uh, switching the modes using the key combination function plus f5 key all right and as soon as i did that i was able to successfully uh, switch the cpu speed modes from silent po uh, to performance to uh, from performance to turbo okay and what's the difference guys let me quickly open up the task manager in front of you all right and as you can see if i go to performance tab okay so the basic difference is the speed over here the speed uh, variation all right so for example currently we are at turbo okay if i move to performance it is uh, slightly going to drop its speed all right now see you can see the speed is hovering somewhere around uh, I mean somewhere between 2.4 to 3 gigahertz speed okay and if I further change further degrade the speed to silent you will quickly see there will be a significant drop in the speed okay it's now it's operating at a speed of uh, 1 gigahertz and uh, 2.5 and above gigahertz okay so this is how it, it makes a difference guys you can monitor the speed over here under the performance tab within the task manager all right so basically it's going to operate at its base level right which is the silent mode okay and now if we quickly uh, shift again to performance mode you will see small spike in the level of the, uh, the way the cpu speed is getting calculated over here all right you can see now it's operating at a 2.5 to 3 point uh, 3 and above gigahertz speed right however if i quickly uh, move again to turbo you will see you will certainly see a more spike in the speed okay because i'm not doing any extensive ta uh, tasks just now it's not going to its max potential which it should go which is the 2.4.7 gigahertz speed it's not touching just yet that's because we are not doing any extensive tasks guys if we maybe probably will, if we play a game it is going to hit that level uh, this cpu speed has i mean this computer has its uh, uh clock turbo speed of 4.7 gigahertz okay which i have not uh noticed so far using these uh, switch off modes i have not noticed yet of uh, i've not known its uh, exact uh, max potential level that it can reach i've not seen so far even after i have changed to turbo i'm just observing just max max reach is 3.7 gigahertz wherein its uh, efficient turbo speed is around 4.7 uh, gigahertz of clock speed all right so that's how you do it guys and if you found this video helpful please hit the support button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. We'll meet in the next video with more useful content like this. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Ta -ta.